layout. Now that you have a site created, let's go in and do a simple design of maybe a parking lot, building, and some roadways. We're going to use the parametric design tools inside SiteOps, which means you draw things for a purpose. We're going to draw a parking lot area, and it's just not four lines that create a polyline on a layer called parking. It is an intelligent area. It understands how big parking spaces need to be, drive aisles, grading constraints. So once we create the area, zoom into the right, and you can see those set of default properties. Now let's zoom out. Now let's actually create the parking spaces. Go to the upper right, click on the layout solver. This will start site ops. Now I have 448 spaces within just a few seconds. But what if that's not what I want? You can come in and start detailing the model and configuring things the way you would want to. If you don't like a shape, move it. This is a very dynamic design tool. It's not static. If you don't like something, change it. Let's bring in a building. Maybe let's do a 150 by 300. Once we bring that in, you can see parking is already moving out of the way. But the big question is, as we're designing a site such as this one, where do we place the building? To the rear of the parking? In the center of the site? Or maybe towards the main roadway? The client may want to look at all three. With site ops, I can run that scenario for each one very quickly. Now let's go in. Let's change the way the parking looks. And you do have control of this model. Use our snaps, going to make things exactly the way we want them. I want to change the parking to a different direction. You are now starting to see how the Site Ops Layout tool gives you the ability to deliver options to your clients. Come in and modify parking, either in individual areas or as whole big sections. Like I want to add a bay. Do I want to do handicapped spaces? Uh, do I want sidewalks? All kind of things we can do to the tool. Let's come in and create a roadway. The roadways are intelligent as well. How are we going to deal with the cross section? How are we going to deal with uh, longitudinal slopes? How are we going to deal with medians and multiple lanes and sidewalk and all kind of things that we want to come in and change? What if I want to just change the entrance radiuses for this little driveway from 20 to 35? There you go. You did it. Within just a few minutes, we were able to create a site plan. Now let's fast forward 15 or 20 minutes where we now have a movie theater and a bank and some strip centers and things like turnarounds and little parking for the park area detention pond but in this big open area the client wants to see a super center so let's go in and grab one I'm going to use a thing we have inside up called spatial template this allows the user to put those intelligent things together such as the parking and sidewalks building pads and define the way they happen so I can use this again sort of a rapid prototype uh, style design I also have in this a SketchUp model you can go out this things like SketchUp, bring in trees, cars, people, in this case a super center building that I will want to move into place. There we go, now we got template in place. Go over to layout, let's start the solver. I want to see the parking spaces. Now I want to come in, since this is the way I normally like to see this type of site, let's just go add a couple driveways. There we go. Let's add two more across the front. And site ups can be used on a variety of projects, not just commercial. Schools, government, municipal. Um, if you name it, if it has a site plan and needs something moved and created on it, site ops can do that for you. So now we've quickly created a site plan. Lower left hand corner even counts my parking spaces and my pervious surface. With the power of site ops layout, we were able to create in less than 30 minutes what would normally take a couple hours with any standard CAD tool. SiteOps gives you the ability to quickly look at options and deliver better results to your clients in a fraction of the time.